Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Sun Dried Valleys podcast. She's laughing at my introduction already. I, <laughs> how I just flip it on. Uh, I am Sol. Uh, you are here and present, uh, and you know who I am. But this is the lovely Death Violets who joins me every week yeah. uh, as we talk nonsense and our bunnies burn in the sun. That was a rather dark turn, wasn't it? Yeah, very dehydrated. Yeah, so make sure you're hydrated <laughs> as you watch this. Um, we will be uh, going through the foibles of everyday life and explaining them to you because we are aliens to this world and we need some conditioning, some teaching, some learning into the ways of the world. And what better way to do that than through Twitch and to have this avenue and dialogue uh, with you wonderful folk. Uh, I said folk. Um, so, it's been a week, we had a pilot episode, not a lot of people have seen it, in fact no one's seen it except us, because I haven't posted it on YouTube yet, ha <laughs> uh, I haven't seen it, I was just there. That's true, well I mean, you, you have to have seen it, because you were there and you saw it. Yeah. Yeah? I think that's how that works. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's go with it, alright? Okay. <laughs> you were present, you were, you were conscious, weren't you? <laughs> Uh, Maybe a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but since the pilot, you have in fact aged. <laughs> a little bit. It's a way of me saying you're old, right? Oh, oh, oh. You've had a birthday. Yeah. Congratulations. I have a birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations on having one. I know it's hard to get one. Um, you know, it's, it took a lot of work, but I'm glad I finally obtained yeah. one. Uh, how, how did you celebrate your birthday? Um, I literally did nothing, and then I just kind of took it easy and just chilled out at home. Didn't you stream? Um, and then and then I did a birthday stream. Yeah. Was... <laughs> I didn't do anything, and then I did a birthday stream, and then that was it. Later on in the week, uh, Noda very nicely took me out to dinner. And oh. And a shit ton of really good food. Oh, wow. Where'd you go? Um, Longhorns. I beg your pardon. Yes. <laughs> It's a steakhouse. Oh, so oh, I see. So we got like steak, and I got um, they have like these mushrooms stuffed with cheese appetizers and stuff like that. Um, so I got like a bunch of food. And you call that food? You call that food? Yeah, it's food. Um, it was a lot. Of che- it's more cheese than than mushroom. But yeah. Well, I mean, uh, as long as you enjoyed yourself, did you get any gifts? I did. did you get any gifts? Uh, my mom sent me a box um with like some little like. She made me cookies. My mom made me my favorite cookies. Oh. Um, what are your favorite cookies? And then, yeah. What are they? And then, so, oh, they're called no bake cookies. No. No what? No bake. You, you don't put them enough. No bake. I thought you said no da cookies. I thought that's quite apparent, isn't it? No da cookies. <laughs> no da cookies. <laughs> no bake cookies. Mm. Um, they're like chocolate, peanut butter, oat cookies. I don't know oh. really how to describe them. Well, that was a good description, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go then. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting some gift subs here. Yeah, Thank you very much, Potato Gifted, that sub to uh, Noda, actually. Noda, get the sub. Nice. Thank you very much. Noda cookies equals ginger snaps. <laughs> it looks like our guest has joined us, ladies and gentlemen. The wonderful Nini Bell is here, uh, and the Sun Dry Bunnies podcast is covering her there, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, I'm going to display the Salt Fest logo right over there to make us look genuine and authentic and amazing. Uh, uh, hello, Nini. Can you hear us? Hello, are you all right? Weirdy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah. Um, How are you today, hon? Uh, you uh, have an art kitty. I, I have three cats with me at the moment. Sorry, oh. I'm trying to keep them under control. <laughs> I'm so much better now. I think they're going to be regulars on the... Uh, we should say there's three of them, but that sloth is not one of them in disguise, is it? No, this, no <laughs> the, the other one is hiding. He's oh! Right here. Look at that stealth cat, that's ladies and gentlemen. I, that's why I'm trying to keep this one from getting on top of him. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah, here we go. There we are, there we are. Nini, you're here. You've got your webcam working. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes, there you are. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome. How are you guys today? Uh, yeah, we're, we're fabulous. Hi. We're fabulous. Uh, it's it's Solface. We were just, uh, it was Stevie's birthday last week. Uh, and she's telling us about the massive stakes that she had. I had, I had steak. <laughs> it was your birthday last week? It was, yeah. It was your birthday. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, where's in your background? So I took a um, an idea from you. Um, oh, the, the picture that Soul drew? 
I even pointed to it first go. Look at that. Yeah, well um, done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, she learned Over it. there. Um, I recently moved rooms, so I haven't finished mm. hanging everything up. Uh, so it's not up yet, but it should be coming soon. Hopefully. No, no. She saw it, and she wanted to take it down, and she had to come up with an excuse no, to take it down. So I mean, she was like, I'm going to move into another room. Art. No, I have a bunch of fan art I'm going to hang up. I was the first. Uh -huh. Just... You were one of the first. And yes, you can see, yes, as Lady pointed to it, uh, my anti-art uh, that me and Mid were drawing earlier on, actually, uh, is, is, is there. What a lady bell I made. It's fantastic. Thank you so Very much for displaying it. it, was, it you took... Yes, that's amazing. Uh, can, can we get a shout out for uh, Needy Bell? You've already done it. That's amazing. Look at that potatoes on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, fabulous that you're here uh, and joining us for this uh, because um, well, should we try, uh, let me just say that this is Soulfest uh, and this will kind of combine into it. Uh, this is what I've been doing all week. I've been preparing this, ladies and gentlemen. You did <laughs> well, a great job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> um, it's it's been it hasn't been as hell well has it been hellish no it hasn't been as hellish as I thought. Um, I had this idea, I had this idea, and it was a long time ago. I mentioned summer uh, soul fest, summer solstice, um, and the idea was never to be uh, about me. It was the idea of I've met all these fantastic people, and I want to bring them together. And I just didn't know like I could raid people, and I've done that and i've brought people together and it's fabulous and i can go to people's streams and see people i've brought there they've come back and visited and it's mind-blowing i love it so much but i thought what if we all came together and people could see us interact and do some crazy stuff and i never thought i'd actually get to the point where i did it it was a pipe dream but everyone said yes let's do it let's yeah. do it let's do it <laughs> and uh and i was like oh 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 wait wait you all got you all want to do it that means i've got to do it oh no mm -hmm. No, no, this is meant to be like rejection, <laughs> few, idea. you know. Um, so, and this has happened, and this is it 12 hours, and we've got another 12 hours tomorrow, but forget about that. Um, this, this is for us, this is this is all for us. And Nini, I couldn't think of a better way to uh profile you and to have you interact with us and, and integrate than being the very first guest officially of the Hello. Sun for Dried Bunnies. I think you said Sun Fried. Sun <laughs> They will be um, the Sun Dry Bunnies podcast. It's early days. It's <laughs> we'll get we'll get used to that. Um, and and to have you here and interact with us in this amazing manner. So Nini, how are you? How do you feel about being here and involved? First of all, I'm so proud of you for making this come to fruition because I know that it's something that you have been talked about. So and honestly, kudos on keeping it as secret as um, as you have. Like as big as this as is. I would probably be talking about it like nonstop. It's been very, it's been very covert about it, which is awesome because it's more like, um, I'm just very proud of you for all of this. Not only just like from uh, watching you like begin streaming to just this whole reduction of meeting people because literally I've met some of the most incredible people through you. So I am so proud of you. And I'm so honored to be the first one. Mm, yes. Uno, unero, un, unero, numero. Something like that. Awesome. One, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, if people don't know, Nini Bell, you are a streamer, um, and we'll leave it at that. No, uh, <laughs> no, uh, you're mainly PG-13, and I, I discovered you, Nini, because I was researching three projects, and I've mentioned them tonight, there was, uh, Bioshock, uh, there was Bendy, found no one playing that, so forget that, and, um, Little Nightmares, where I found both of you, actually, and, um, uh, yeah, yes. Know. Pretty much a day apart, Wait, I think. Oh, this oh, this oh. Just... Yep. Yeah, no, no, the other way. No, I need no, the other way. Uh -oh. No, no, the other way. Uh, you need to go. No, no, the other. No, the other way. The other way. No, no, Nini. Oh. Nini, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you want to go? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That works. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, we got her in the end. <laughs> we got her in the end. See collaboration coming together like that. There uh, we go. I, I fucked it up earlier. He was trying to hand me a canvas, and I reached. You <laughs> reached up. <laughs> Down here. It's weird. I. It is. But um, yes. Uh, so you're playing little nightmares, and I think it was near enough a day apart. I actually um, uh, found you. Uh, oh, thank you. but Nina, you you are the biggest streamer I've ever watched. Okay. Uh, I never went to all these famous, uh, infamous people and s saw what they did because I didn't. I wasn't interested in that. I wanted to engage and interact with people and. Uh, I wanted to have conversations. I wanted to get to know them. And 
you you but you were your your chat is incredibly vibrant and amazing um and i found it very difficult to create that dialogue with you but you as a person are so eccentric and colorful and bright i mean look at this background that you have here uh it, it's it's amazing you know um you can definitely see the three different styles going on here. You've got the bright, colourful Nini Bell. You've got the artistic uh, merit of, of Death Violets. And you've got Dark Soul. <laughs> yes. Um, flacking, looking creepy. But yes. Um, and and it, that which drew me. I couldn't, I couldn't turn away. Um, despite the fact that it wasn't the environment. I saw your follow account and I was like, wow, you've got loads of followers. This is probably too big for me to even engage with, uh, with someone like you. But you are engaging. You take time for every single member of your chat. Um, so, Nini, Nini, how did you begin this journey into streaming? Um, oh, boy. Um, okay, so it's kind of a heavy reason. And um, I don't mean to like bring down the vibe of like Soul, uh, Soul Fest because you've literally curated. I've been popping in and out and lurking. And I've been trying to make sure, like, okay, what's not to, like, what the overall theme and just um, feeling of the whole the stream was. So, mm -hmm. oh, anyway, beside the point. Um, so, the reason I began um, streaming specifically is um, I wanted to make people, uh, and this is going to sound so cliche, but... Um, make people feel better in any way possible. So I knew I had, everyone has like special set of skills, like, like stat boosts or whatever. Um, if we are for thinking about it, like in a video game. Okay, um, and yeah. I knew that I'm pretty high strung in every asset, every fa uh, shape, fashion, function, or form. And I wanted to use it since I can't turn it off. Um, I wanted to use it for something that was uh, better. Like I'm very animated. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, it has its downsides, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I wanted to distract people. That was a hard ass. I wanted to distract people again. <laughs> I wanted to distract. I can't. I can't. I got to dis distract. <laughs> yeah, like whistle twice. Um, you went to distract. But uh, so yeah, that's kind of why that's why I began because I wanted to figure out okay, we all have these traits and how we speak to people. Everyone mm -hmm. has their own like language, and I wanted to find out if I could get through as many people as possible. Um, I know I can't make things specifically better in uh, directly in people's lives, but if I can distract them for a second, I feel like that was helping in some form uh, kind of way yeah. um, because the, we uh, lost a lot of people in the pandemic. Not yeah. just by COVID itself, but um, by from mental illness, and I wanted to somehow just add my voice to the pool of mm -hmm. sound to make that stop. So you were kind of channeling yourself, uh, knowing who you are, accepting who you are, and you channeled yourself into a sort of medium in which you can have an outreach for others to engage with. Is that correct? Yeah, that's smart. That's best. Yeah. Well put. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's fantastic that's fabulous i mean i've when people ask why i constantly make jokes all the time uh why it's my go-to a lot of people like when they get bullied they create it as a, like a conditioning as a defense mechanism um uh, i was not bullied um the reason i did i i, I turned to humor was to one push adulthood away it was a way of staying keeping everything serious in life away from me, right? Because then I wouldn't have to face it. But then it morphed into something. It changed. Because I realized that in that split moment when someone laughs, okay, in that, that moment right there, their body gives them joy. No matter what is going on in their life, if they can laugh in that moment, I've given them some respite. And some relief, even if it is fleeting. Uh, and I clung on to that, so I stuck with as much of the humour as possible. And in in a similar way of channeling yourself and your abilities and your stats and whatever, I I endeavoured to do the same uh, in my own unique manner. Uh, and yes, I am smutty. Okay. <laughs> We love you. Yeah, I've got the smut button. You're PG thirteen streamer. You don't know how hard it is. <laughs> I know. I'm oh, man. A lot of you guys. <laughs> no, but I, it's a good challenge. It's a good challenge, and I still, I still be able to get in there with the puns, you know. <laughs> like, 
Thanks, see, yeah, they're so clever. I feel like your intelligence level, like the level of like quips that you do have, would go over the perf like the heads that you didn't want to understand, mm. and and sometimes myself too. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I'm always willing to take the mick. Uh, I, I'm you know take the mick, take the mickey out of people if they don't get it. I get sass. I'm always told I've got some very dry wit, yeah, or something like that. Very dry or something like that. I don't know what they're talking about. The pillocks. No, no such thing. No such thing. <laughs> no such thing as dry. Wait a minute. You saying I haven't? I haven't got no wit. Is that what you're saying? No, you don't have dry wit. Oh, I don't have dry wit. Oh well, fair enough. I've got wet wet wit. Yes. Wet wit. <laughs> Wait. So, Nini, you, you started out. How long have you been streaming? How long have you been streaming for now, as of the state? It started uh, on, in October. In October? Okay. Yeah. Actually, quite a lot of people, I think, in the community have started around that time. Very few of them have been around longer than that. Um, so, I know. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, o o October. Okay, so, um, I mean, I'm now five months in. What does that make you about eight months into your... Uh, yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember, like in the lead up to the day like i remember you mm -hmm. came in and saying how you were going to be streaming but it yeah. wasn't like you had a day it was in february right oh when i started streaming yes but i actually arrived on twitch in january uh of january 1st actually oh okay oh mm -hmm. yeah because you had a, okay i remember um and i remember like you getting like your mic talking about getting your mic all set up yeah and, get actually um, get my pc actually delivered you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah i'm so proud of you yeah but um yeah, so it's it's been it's been what about eight months for yourself or, or, or more now nine months, um, and you've grown uh, amazingly and quite quickly, I would say. Um, has that had uh, an impact on your life at all? Uh, has it changed for the better? Oh boy, hmm. <laughs> um, it has. That was loud. It has in a weird in a way that I didn't think it would. Okay, so and okay, so beginning. I, the reason, one of the reasons, a self-serving reason I began streaming was, um, I wanted to gain more confidence just in general. Mm -hmm. And it did give me that in a way that I didn't realize I could have it. I'm not saying I'm like walking around. Uh, but one of the things I did realize is, um, it changed my <clears throat> way that I perceive myself and it's had both amazing and negative responses. I feel much better about my, like, confident in my decisions. And literally, I've only uh, this community and everybody that I've met through Twitch to thank for that. Oh, my gosh. It's been, I cannot ever pay the amount of confidence that it's given me to be comfortable um, with myself or not be in that self-conscious tail head spin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the issue with that is that some of the people from your past perceive you as changing in a negative way. So there's there's that mm. downside, but honestly, I would take it in a heartbeat for feeling better about yourself. So that's really? um, a confidence thing that I've experienced and um, definitely a noticeable thing mm -hmm. uh, for me anyway. DV was saying something very similar, weren't you, during the painting uh, uh, part of the stream about telling people that you're now a streamer. And yeah. how they react to you. Do you think it's generally perceived of still as a kind of uh, an, a sort of negative kind of job? Oh, yeah. Because um, yeah. I'm, again, um, this is completely new to me. So um, I weren't aware of all this kind of stereotypes or the, the general zeitgeist of, on, on the thoughts of, of streamers. Um, but yeah, what are your experiences with that? I didn't realize, and now I'm <clears throat> sorry, my throat was like crazy. Um, now that I'm reemerging slowly, or that we're all kind of reemerging slowly into like the real world, real world, and having mm -hmm. more social interactions, I've noticed that when I tell people I stream on Twitch, if they don't know about Twitch and I have to explain it to them, mm -hmm. um, it sounds very uh, scandalous. Hey, is what I'm running into. Yeah, like if they know Twitch, they know I'm not that. It's like, oh yeah, but like for example, all my family that doesn't know Twitch. Watch people watch me play video games. They're like, this, mm -hmm. this is weird. That's the thing, isn't it? Because it's it's so really it's not. Very... It's not about the video game. That's what I found. It's never yeah, about the video I game. Made it worse. Yeah, because then they're like, well, why are you playing it? <laughs> no, it's 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 a focal point. It's something for you to do while everyone comes in and interacts with you. It's simple. You've got to be doing something. And then you've got material for people to actually talk about and engage in conversation. If anything, it's a social platform. It's a dynamic social platform that has one-on-one -on -one engagement. And look at what we're doing right now. 
just from me dropping into your streams on those days. We're all in this podcast now with a logo, you know, over here and all this kind of stuff. And we're, we're, yeah, an amazing logo. Um, and we're all talking and interacting and we are friends. And I'm glad we can, we can say that. Uh, got a few enemies, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend I'm friends, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And, and that, that was just born from the engagement of Twitch. Uh, this, this Twitch has changed my life. I know that much, um, and I speak about it often. How I've, I've shut away for sixteen years, no real social interaction. Eddie was the only man that really ever reached out to me, um, and I would hang out with him, and that was that was fantastic. Then I tried YouTube, that didn't really work. But I came here, and unfortunately, as much as I may complain about how technology rewards instant gratification, and that we come to rely on it a bit too much, Twitch gives you that. You know, uh, if yeah, if definitely. if you can you yeah you, know, you might be sitting there with with free viewers uh but there's still free viewers there you, you are still getting you know you're still being watched you know you're still there is an engagement there even if you can't see it dynamically and then that will grow and then you'll get this happening and this is fantastic mm-hmm. yeah this is this is this is life-changing and anyone can re- well obviously not anyone could do it because they'll need the technology <laughs> um but it's not too, you can stream from your phone really can't you now i'm saying yeah. you should just drop everything go in there but a society's changed. This is normal, right? This is the jobs of today. I feel more so, yeah, definitely. You know, you know entertainment has changed. You don't really... Mm-hmm. People watch Twitch, people watch YouTube. They don't really watch TV anymore. So the people right. that went into acting and stuff like that, there will always be a place for acting. Um, of course. But there is now a new platform for new types of entertainers. And I think that's that change frightens some people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I do agree with you. Mm. Go ahead, sorry. No, 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 please, no, please. No, please. <laughs> um, one of the things I thought was super interesting, so I <clears throat> began um, in January of 2020 kind of do research on how to um, go about kind of connecting with people, and Twitch mm-hmm. wasn't on the dart on the board until I did more research and find, found out that it was the easiest social platform to kind of um, have that one-on-one engagement with. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, like a cool little um, stat that I found out to kind of piggyback on what you were saying is um, the platforms like streaming services like YouTube and um, Twitch and all the so- uh, live streaming services uh, beat out ha- beat out hand over fist <clears throat> most uh, uh, really high end uh, TV networks. Like oh, right. streaming, uh, focusing more on user created content than they were like for example Netflix, Hulu, and those streaming services didn't do as well in 2020 as things like YouTube and thing and, yeah. and that's just a direct correlation of. Kind of what you were saying that people mm-hmm. want more like one on one. And I think it might be a generational thing as well, because obviously the youth of today is going to be very much engaged. We see a lot of uh, like you guys have very uh, young audiences, both of you, um, yeah. and that's that's great because they're going to grow up with you. Um, <laughs> they they will put you on a pedestal. You will always be celebrities to them. Um, you have to remember that, you know, because they'll they'll remember that time in their life from a very young age, and we have nostalgia, right? So. You'll always be there, and they'll see you grow because you'll be on this platform for a very long time. Very yeah. to think about it. Very true. What a really eloquent way yeah. to put. That's very. That's and very true. Most of us in this in this network in this community is like who are streamers are around the same age gap between about twenty five and thirty five years old, right? Uh, and, and so we've got we've we're in that that general. I I think we're at the perfect time to do this. Uh, or like to actually stream and to actually be because we're going to age with them with the youth the people of our age will connect with us because of cultural reference you know references the older generation probably won't care but they might have a look at it as it becomes more popular and we'll be of their age when they were kind of not caring i know that sounds weird but <laughs> it, it'll all come together right that's what i'm saying it all kind of go together in, in one direction uh not the band and um <laughs> <laughs> and and I think I think we're just we're just at that that, that perfect moment, and I I, I think it, it might be mocked now because people still want that kind of hard labour aspect to it, okay. or the business executive who really doesn't do bugger all and gets paid a lot. So it's 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 either end of the extreme. It's like no, you work hard or you earn a lot of money and don't work hard, but look down on everyone. And that's literally, but no place in the middle for someone who plays games on camera for people. 
And that's a ridiculous throwaway for what we do. If I'm glad you've done it. <laughs> I think people don't understand how much work goes into streaming. Uh -huh. Like they think, oh, you just sit down and then you play a video game. Absolutely not. And it's no. like, damn, I wish I wish you yeah, yeah, absolutely. That would be great. You could but, do that. but I mean, you could, but mm -hmm. most often your right. channel's not going to grow quite exactly. as much. Right. Especially, yeah, with your, like, the motivation of connecting with people in mind, you've mm -hmm. got to do so much work to try to, like, connect with those people because people are, like, obviously focused on their day-to-day -day and to try to get their attention a little bit to try to, like, distract them or to make them feel better. Mm -hmm. That takes work. And, like, people are on their, like, on missions. They're, they're, they're on there they're doing their personal thing. So, yeah, getting their attention... Isn't exactly, yeah. And you've got, the, you've got to this platform is available everywhere. I know that these other, like Netflix and all that, you can get them any time, but they're, they're structured and they're narrative and you've got to understand mm -hmm. what's going on. You can drop into anybody's stream that you're following at any time and get that entertainment that you want and then drop back out again. That's why people who lurk and stuff like that, like you should never have animosity towards any of these people because they're doing you wonders and... Um, they're enjoying your experience. They wouldn't be there lurking if they didn't care, you know? Right? It's like time is like the most, you can't get that, like that back. That is such, mm -hmm. I know it sounds like I say that no, often, but. It's, it's very it true. Is. That's why you keep saying it. Because <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah, you can't. It's like the most expensive commodity. And for somebody mm -hmm. to give you that, that's, that is so special time that they can't, that they can't get back. Yeah, right. absolutely. Um, that's very cliche, but I stand by it. But yeah, you have grown and you've, made this uh, amazing network of people uh, Nini uh, and I know that it's it's all very new to you um, every aspect of this <laughs> really but you've created a great team who have supported you and uh, have kept you uh, kept you going in a good direction because I know that you actually get and I know I do that I find this very therapeutic um, I get down and um I can come on here and it's not about, oh, everyone just sends you love and say, oh, we'll cheer up or, you know, we love you and all that. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's, it's literally just switching off and switching into a mode in which I need to engage. And I, it's not putting on a front. I could be honest. Mm -hmm. with, I could be honest. But I know that people will be honest back with me. And that can create some rationale in your mind. Because when it's up here, you're, you're just telling yourself all that negative stuff, right? You need someone else to come in and say, hey, you know. <laughs> calm down you know don't be silly mm -hmm. sometimes you do need that and you can get that straight yeah. away um because there's people there waiting for you they'll see that notification and go great i'm gonna be there you know right. or they'll be there already waiting <laughs> mm -hmm. if they've got a scheduled time and and so yeah it's it's it i find it very therapeutic and as you said you've come you come into twitch with uh numerous issues uh not well, issues but and traits as you put them um and that have defines you and you've and you've you come in here and you stream and you must get something very rewarding from it to keep doing it yeah i it is it, it honestly i think that i am it's more getting than i am giving us in that uh, aspect i do mm -hmm. not think that i am get, like giving you guys the amount of joy or confidence or just voices in the back of my head or just words of wisdom or just really just encouraging because the words have way more weight than we think they do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it has been so helpful in a time that has been very um, second guessing and just to have, I just have really amazing people that don't know exactly what's going on, but want, but they're, they're encouraging you anyway. It's like, cause nobody has to do that. That's and true. it's insane that I mean, yeah, it, it's, it, it just blows my mind. Your your energy is infectious and it, it's crazy and that's why I stayed around because it's 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 an experience to to witness. When you go, you go. It's it's uh, it's non stop. I actually guided some raids for a few people, including Death Violets, um, yes. <laughs> because I said, Nini's on. Go to Nini now. You're going to get yep. the best reception you've ever received in your life <laughs> because. She is so animated and alive when she sees you. She's going to... I've done, I think big potato as well. Uh, they're going to go nuts for you. And that might be quite intimidating because it's like a lot of attention on you. But I know that you've just, you're just going to go, amazing, I love you. Um, I know you from this person and you're just, you're just 
put them on a pedestal and I love that. Sometimes people come into the stream and I'll go, oh, thank you so much for, for the raid. Thank you very much. Let's get a shout out. And that's the end of it. And it's like, then we'll have a conversation. And that's fine. That's the way it works. We all do that. Okay. That's fine. But you really go out of your way. You really go out of your way. Yeah, to, to just talk nonstop about this person. I'm like, it's an experience. It's a joy. I, love, I want people to witness it. Um, yeah. But yes. I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Because on the other end of the of, of, on the other end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. I feel like okay, tone it down. Like you're coming in hot. Like let's let's dial it back a little bit. Like it's, <laughs> you need to like easy. <laughs> no. And I'll think of that after the fact. Not like of course it'd be a nice thought to have during the fact, like so I can like in real time slow it down. No, it always happens like after reflecting on what just yeah. happened. Uh, see, I feel like that's for any situation. You okay? What no one uh, yeah. on this? We all have that self reflection yes. moment, don't we? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> see, on my OPS, I want to point this way that's perfect, but apparently not. Let's do the opposite, the yeah. Opposite do the opposite, yeah. You should be seeing a flip version of yourself, that's why it's, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, no, you're absolutely right. It's 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 it, it works both ways, it really does. Because you got to remember that you're for you being there, you're being there for somebody else. Um, in that chat, whether it's for entertainment or whether it, it is because they're having a bad day and they're like, "Oh, you're on. I, I can spend some time with you. You're going to bring me some joy, or you're going to bring me some help. You're gonna you're gonna do something for me." And uh, mm. to be in that position to do that, that, that is fantastic. And um, that's why I, why I love this place. I love doing it um, every single time. Uh, yeah. Everybody knows your name. <laughs> Oh, oh my dang it. Word. Oh, man, guys, it's cheers. Mm, I was hoping that wouldn't cheers. like go over soul. Yeah, dang it, it's not gonna freaking it's, it's you Literally, you're over me singing that. Um, <laughs> no, I do no cheers. I do no cheers. Cheers, cheers. Okay. Cheers for doing that. Hi, bro, uh, Wait, the show cheers, though? Do you know the show cheers? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen an episode, but I do know of it. I, mm. I recognize the song. I don't know the show, though. You're meant to know. It's a good <laughs> reference. Are you American, De Death Islets? Apparently. Then you should know Cheers, right? I don't think I should. I know Friends. I know Friends too. I watch Friends religiously. Oh. I did. Friends is, re Friends is very good. Yeah, Friends is very good, yeah. Absolutely. Where are you from? Do I not know? Where are you, are you yeah, from? I'm in Florida. I'm from, I'm from the US. I just joke, like, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> oh, I get that. that Sorry. Like, wait a minute. UK, East Coast, West Coast, all together. I'm just alive. Cool. <laughs> I'm just mm. here. All calling to the world. There you go. There's something else that goes uh, understated. It's a worldwide platform, right? Yes, definitely. If, uh -huh. Everyone from around the world can reach out and come into into your chat. And you're like, wow, you're from there? Tell me about that place. And suddenly you're connected to that place, right? And so, so you could go... You can go off and speak to someone and they'll, they'll in passing, might mention, uh, I don't know... Um, uh, I can't think of any country. Chile. There we go. And you'll go. Wait a minute. I had someone in my stream from Chile. Suddenly, I've got a connection to Chile. They told me about a volcano or something. And it's suddenly, you know, and it's just just from that alone, you can expand your mind, expand your horizons. Uh, the people it you makes meet. the world feel so much smaller, which I love. Hmm. Like not. This feels like so much closer. Like it wouldn't be such a huge, crazy expedition to go to a certain place because it just feels smaller. Maybe that's because I did a lot of traveling in 2020 for a, mi right. a myriad of reasons. Mm -hmm. But um, I love that about it. I love that it feels closer in proximity versus what it actually is. Yeah. So um, you've taken a bit of a break from streaming, but um, are you. Uh... Are you are you optimistic for where you're heading, where your channel's heading, where you, where you are going in the future? Yeah, I didn't. This, the breaks this week was not planned. Although no, in the back no, of my no. mind, there's a part of that probably knew I should have, um, just to kind of re just refocus. Yeah, we all need it. I I've had to take several. Um, sometimes we need it, but you know that audience is still there. You know? See, and I always felt like I was being like. Um, doing a disservice by being vague and just kind of bolting and I, I had I always felt this week has been a combination of feeling more, more crappy than not but for okay. that reason too also I feel like, like you're letting like your friends down oh. and um, so although this week wasn't planned I am mm. excited because yeah. I think it was necessary to refocus or kind of learn a few things so when I do go back streaming on like on Monday I am Monday yeah Monday and, awesome um, 
when, so when I do, I will have, having learned a few things um, over mm -hmm. this past week, two weeks, couple weeks, years. <laughs> Nini, when I... Okay, so my, my history, I've got, I've got major depression, okay? And I get, I get triggered very easily. And this is a completely new. The experiences I'm having are completely new. I'm experiencing new emotions, new feelings. And each one hits me like a wave. And I hit, it hits me really hard. And I have to go away. And it could be just for a day or two. Uh, that's all it takes. Sometimes it's a week, like I had a couple of weeks ago. And each time I come back, I have grown past it. I have bettered myself and it's because i need to take a step back from everything the more i kept trying to push forward knowing that these things were plaguing me i was doing myself a disservice even if that wasn't presentable on stream i had to take a step back i had to refocus i had to process things and then come back with a new stance on things that's why I've, i feel i have grown on here i've only been doing this for five months i've taken a lot of hits but i know that those hits are going to get further and further apart because i'm adapting as i go and i'm learning and i'm i'm molding myself into the perfect soul <laughs> um. <laughs> I, a, I need like a little baby drum kit like, ch -ch -ch. that's oh, amazon that would be a good idea, idea. That is i know cute. i'm sure that's a thing little uh, right does like amazon have that <laughs> <laughs> yeah baby drum kit. Oh, so baby drum kit. Baby drum kit. <laughs> brilliant no, no taking. I'd love to see all your notes. I've seen you take so many notes before. Oh, you would have Just... it. Oh, man. There. Speaking of which, uh, Nini, I asked you, uh, have you got something to show us tonight? I do. Something amazing. Oh, it was there all along. I didn't even... I didn't even... No, it's just I know. I did so well. background. Uh, yeah. She blended in with all the pinks and purples. Beautiful. Um, beautiful reveal. What is that? So oftentimes I get a um, remark that she's creepy and I have a quite a big, not big story behind her, but I thought I wanted to get something that, um, she's beautiful. She's actually from Mexico. Oh, right. Uh, oh, yes. There we go. Uh, oh, is it handmade? Yes. Oh, um, all right. Cool. So a couple things. Oh, it's okay. So without me, there's a lot of points to the story, but I will keep it this related. So I went to Mexico about seven years ago. Six or seven years ago. I know. You guys just realized. Skeleton lady. Sorry. I read your chat. <laughs> um, okay. So about five, six, six or seven years ago, I went down to Mexico um, to start um, the process of getting dental, just a bunch of dental work done. Hmm. And at that time, um, now I'm wondering if this is a product of like climate change of any sort, but last time I went down there. Um, I found this like almost paper mache um, skeleton lady. She was absolutely beautiful. She had a huge, big, beautiful um, yellow dress, and she was made not from this material. This is like a clay material. Mm. Um, I'm not. I'm assuming since the six year difference, I didn't see any type of medium still being used of like the paper, because uh, I tried to go find her again. Because anyway, I'm bouncing around. Anyway, went down there. And while shopping, found this, I fell in love with her instantly. She was a little bit bigger, and she was made out of more of like a paper consistency, mm -hmm. but um, paper mache is probably the best I can attribute to. When I think of paper mache, yeah. I just remember being laid upon a table in an art class and someone putting uh, strips of paper on my face to create a mask, oh. and then everyone oh. left. Oh, <laughs> so, like... Dry. Dry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I was there. No. I, no. Hey, nicely oh, done. Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> Still, they, they came back and got me uh, three hours later. So, um, I, I've got to be honest. When you said it was made of clay and you just slightly tapped it, I am fearing there might be something inside. <laughs> Is it hollow? <laughs> It's hollow. Oh no! I mean, it's clay. It has to be hollow. Uh, yeah, it's very to, true. Yeah. To put it in the kiln and stuff, like nothing's shaken. Oh, that makes sense. You're gonna bake it for years if it wouldn't be hollow. Right. It would take way too long. Mm. That makes sense. Um, and it'd be really heavy. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it'd be a weapon at that point, basically. <laughs> um, 
So about fast forward, I, I mean, yeah. so I have actually moved almost, except for this these past two years, I have moved every year since I was 17 years old. Um, oh, wow. Every year. And it's in that time, you uh, unfortunately lose a lot of things mm-hmm. in moving. And unfortunately, that was one of the things. I don't know how I lost her. Probably assume, um, a st- I don't know how, in, it's a myriad of ways that I could have lost her. But I was devastated when I found out that I no longer had her in my possession. And so this past recent time um, that I went down last year to finish um, the dental work, I wanted to find some uh, her again. They didn't have any types of... Um, they had a bunch of figurines, and not in that same material. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with like climate change, because they all were in this type of material. And last time I went, they were all in the other type of material. Anyway, hmm. um, something regular, fishy. I found there. Her and fell in love, so I had to get yeah, it. That's amazing. Oh, very good. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> she's very sweet, though. I know everyone like they don't want to hate for her because it's like, oh, she's so creepy. It's like, well, oh, oh. and another reason I got her. Um, this was, a. so this past time when I went down to, um, Mexico, I got very sick and it was a really, really, I'm sure I've I've mentioned it multiple times and I'm probably, probably getting, um, old news, an old broken record at this point. However, Mm. um, I lost so much weight, uh, in a, in a time frame of about two weeks that, um, they joked around, uh, that I looked like a skeleton. Ah, Oh, wrong. pretty rough. Like my face was sunk. It was bad. Um, but mm-hmm. it's, it was funny because it's pretty, she's pretty a skeleton. I don't know. It was, yeah. there was a compliment there somewhere. There's a compliment. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. Absolutely. Um, Why would you want to do anything otherwise? Yeah. Right. It's fantastic. It really is. Um, definitely. We should, we should mention that you, you have cats. We brought up the cats. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, well, you haven't officially introduced anyone to the cats on the podcast. This is this the official one? Not on the podcast. Would no. you uh, would you like to introduce the world to your cats? Oh, I mean, I can. Uh, this, this is Mister Romeo, little yeah. grumpy old man. Yeah, otherwise known um, as Gavin now, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You you said it was Gavin. We revealed his true identity, <laughs> Mister Gavin Romeo. Mister Gavin Romeo. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Gavin's the first. It used to be a bloke had cosmetic surgery and turned into a cat. Apparently. Oh, this is this is zero. He is my newest baby. He's very shy. Oh, look at that! Adorable. Um, we're hoping to build his confidence, but he he does occasionally pop in. Um, and then I have my little little mole. Goodness, this is Milo. Ah, you have to say it like that, by the way. Milo. Milo. Little, little Mil- gremlin. Little gremlin. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is my gremlin. Look at that. Thanks, gremlin. That belly. Oh, I know. Belly. Just a big chomp, You're adorable. <laughs> Anyways, they, they come and hang out in all of my streams. <laughs> Yeah, oh they do. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, question I have, cool. the question I have mm-hmm. after seeing that is, uh, do you ever wear socks? What's going on there? Do I ever? Wear yeah. Socks? Sometimes. Okay, I've just like the last three streams you've stood up, and I swear you've had bare feet on every single one. Oh, do you not remember there was the one stream where I was wearing my fuzzy socks with the dinosaur foot on it? That's true. There was. My yes. Dino- dinosaur foot. That's right. Your dino foot. Yeah. yeah. I live in socks. Me too. I can't go barefoot. I don't know why. Hmm. Barefoot. I know. I'm, I was reading your chat. I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, feel free. Yeah. I don't know why. It just I can't. I can't do it. I don't know why. Like obviously I can, but right. if hmm. I will be on a mission, right, directly to like fix it to find socks. Or oh, I get that. I, I don't know. Why? It's it depends if I'm cold. If I'm like really, really cold, mm. I'm putting socks on. Like that's my immediate go-to. I suppose, but, yes, of course, you guys live in, in, in much uh, hotter climates. I was going to say, Nini, oh, yeah. you, you yourself have cats. Uh, that's why I led it on. Uh, and I, I got deviated by socks. Oh, um, so oh. it, it, introduce us, Nini. So orig- originally, she was supposed to be named Olive. But oh. I um, transformed her name into, first it was ch- uh, ch- Chicken Dinners, and then Chili Beats, and Beady Beats, <laughs> and Beady Beats. Oh, wait, let's see if she'll do it. Come on, 
Okay, no, sometimes she'll nap. Most of the time. Aww. She'll nap. <laughs> oh, nice. She nap. Very sweet. Mm. Uh, for a moment there, when you, you transformed the name, I thought you were going to say it's Olive, and now it's Olive Tron. So yeah. just... <laughs> Something way more epic. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's Beats. And it was Peekers, Deaner Needs, Chicken Deaners, mm -hmm. all of them. Like, anything but Olive. <laughs> Are you a real cat owner if you don't have, like, ten names for your cats? I know, right? It's like, they don't have... So when they ask their names, like, that's a hard question. Yeah. I got, like, five. Beats, I swear to Bob, you cannot go on the keyboard that's going to have infinite ramifications. My 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 dog, uh, uh, rest in peace. She's uh, she's here. I'll show you the picture. Uh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Um. I have a. I have a. I have a. I have a, I have a uh, <laughs> she's uh, She was called Sasha. Uh, I didn't name her. She already came with that name. Uh, so obviously we shortened that to Sash. Uh, but I used to just call her Pooch. Uh, quite a bit because I love the name. I love the word pooch. It just seems so outdated now. And I used to love Wallace and Gromit. Um, so Wallace would always call Gromit a, a, a pooch. Um, oh. Right, so I just uh, was, was uh, so it's three names for me really. Uh, for her. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, Nick, is that the is that the only cat you've got? Yeah, beats won't. Be, there's no way beats yeah. would. I have her as a. Oh, I see. Too okay. Long. Yeah, oh, I, I feel like I've only ever seen one cat, and I've, I've, you know, it's one of those things where they might just run in and out. Um, <laughs> oh wait, I'm getting confused between your cat and your children. That's what. Same thing. Just one talks too much. Tomato, tomato. That's what you said, didn't you, Davy? You said you weren't going to have children because you are already a mother to three cats. Yeah. Yeah. Don't really, don't really foresee children anytime soon. I got these gremlins to take care of. And I've noticed uh, your tattoos there, uh, Nini. They're on the full display yeah. tonight. Uh, I think the last few times that I saw you, you had long sleeves on. Mm. I never realized you had tattoos. It's, it's, D -D -D -D, it's pretty well. cool, is there? Oh, it, oh yeah. there we go. Is there, have you got any uh, any any one you'd like to show us tonight? Uh, anything that means oh. anything to you in tattoos? So my, honestly, my favorite one would have to be um, probably this one, the one that's uh, often seen most. Colin actually has, or Gubin actually has um, that exact sword. Oh, so right. So like the wiggly sword. Yeah. <laughs> it's this kind of there. So you can wiggle it. <laughs> um, and the butterfly was actually added much later, which, um, right. so my favorite is actually probably the sword because there's two flowers that are on it and those two types of flowers you give to a warrior after battle. Oh, so, I see. Uh -oh. Nice. Very nice. And then it's a constant reminder, like, I don't know. I got it. There you go. You get, like I said before, control your narrative. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. That's brilliant. Because you're creating a, you've got a canvas there, and you're creating your story on top Thank of it. You. Yeah, I yeah. realized um, when I got this. Uh, obviously, I know that there's like that, um, or like the hand, the finger tattoo. That's like, oh, like my brother when I first, he first, uh, he made the jokes like, you're really trying to go for that. Uh, can't get a, you know, can't get a job type look, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. He was kidding because he has tattoos. Oh, bees! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to uh, look a bit weird as I look, look to the side a bit uh, because what we're going to do right now is uh, take a look, uh, Nini, oh. at some of your most eccentric moments on stream, yeah. if you don't mind. Um, so allow me to just do this. Uh, uh, let me see. That should pop up now. Uh, and now I've highlighted a few things I want to just uh, uh, display here. Um, oh. Let's see if I can find these. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, well, the, fir the first one was one I actually took. Uh, no, you've seen that. I won't do that one. You've seen that one. <laughs> this was this was quite amusing. This is on my list. Um, this, was, this wasn't too long ago either. Um, oh, yeah. no. Oh, see? Okay. I feel bad still about that. Is this a spider? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, spider. Sorry. Oh my god. You guys. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Her. I didn't. I should. I. Well, what? I I there had to be a spider. Me. Okay. In my defense. Who does that? What is that? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> we <We've> confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, I love the silence at the end, yeah. and then we get the. I got it. 
Oh, that's. Oh, that's uh, instantly bad because what if somebody was like, got really offended, like, oh, but if they got their heart like sank when I killed a spider, I don't want to like make anyone sad. I I so had. Is, it happened. is there any chance you could turn the volume up on the clips? Uh, that was as far as it would go, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how I can uh boost that further, unfortunately. Mm. We'll see how the next one goes. Maybe it was just that one. We'll see. Um. Uh, now, I killed a spider by accident once, only once, uh, and I freaked out. It was massive, right? It was massive, and it crawled across my bedroom floor, and I threw a massive hardwood book, hardwood, a hardback book at it. Oh. Uh, yep. And it squashed it, and I felt instant regret, and I felt so bad, I got, I got really down and upset about it, and ever since, I've been killing them everywhere. Because, yeah, I was upset that I'd never done it before. Kill all the spiders now. Oh, I've got, no, okay. okay. No, no. No, I felt, I felt, <laughs> no, I felt awful and um, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself uh, to carry on. So I went straight to bed and cried. <laughs> I do feel bad about, because um, I always think I probably um, put way too much more emotional thought into it. I was like, what if they were like on their way home with their spider family? You know? <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> Never coming home. I'm like waiting. Oh, never come home. Well, it's dark. It's not creating your. I could just. I said. I said. Control your narrative. Instead, you're creating them for spiders. That's um, true. That's true. Let's see if I can find these. I've got their names written down. I can't. Yeah. There's so many. You. You are a clip machine. I. Look at all this. I realize I am mm -hmm. so lucky that that clips even that i even have like a clip that people actually have done this because it is so helpful if you're wanting to go post in other places people are like yeah. oh, solid it is so sweet it's also good for like highlights for like if you make your trailer and stuff like that mm -hmm. oh yeah wait what are we watching uh <laughs> this one's labeled nini isn't okay still not okay and then a stupid book pops up. Let me uh, let me raise this. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I watched. I want yeah. I hate this game. I hate no no. <laughs> it's really it, it 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 sparks a certain type of feeling. Oh, so three three three. Three. They're still in the credits! Is this... Uh, nope, it's credits. I don't... <laughs> I love the... Oh, that... Gosh, what happened? Endings. What happened there? What, what was the context it's of that? The stupidest of endings. Just in case you're wanting to do a... Um, I don't want to spoil eight for you. Just in case it's yeah. like on your... Uh, right agenda. Yeah, but yeah. It is a... It is... It, it is... <laughs> It is. We got, so you reached the credits and you were so angry that it, that was the end? Is that what you... Oh, I mean, it was, that, was, that part was fine. I totally was on board with it being... It's just how it ended. Oh, okay. It it's emotion. It is. It, it, was, it was unnecessary. Because when you came back and listened to it and was like, no, and then stormed out again, you had like... <sighs> it's like you, like you were going to give it another chance. And they went, no, that's it, no. <laughs> You know it's over. Like no, that that scene is like at a period that there's not gonna come back. Like, like just kidding. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> like what's the credits? You know, like sorry, mm -hmm. it's not like you can try to wait till like an ending scene, but it's not gonna be the one you want. Um, I of... can't find the no, one I had no. written down here. I don't know why it isn't here. Uh, okay, great prep, so great prep. Um. <laughs> That is, is you, I am so impressed that this has all been, and this is like how other podcasts, um, other successful podcasts go too. So, honestly, I am all impressed because this is way better than what I could have done. You thought of Cliff and for me to bring something, and there it is. Like, oh no. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, oh my breath. let me, let me get that, let me get that full screen there. That reaction. <laughs> no profanity. Oh, he hates that laugh every time. 
it's it's I find it amazing how you put yourself constantly through these experiences, these I tried. It's like you can't stop the game see in my mind I didn't think like you don't have to play the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't think of that once, ever once. You were, you were, you're so, so, because you were like, we're going to finish this game. And you kept trying to finish that game. And you kept putting yourself for it so much. And then the next thing I know, you're playing Little Nightmares. Then it's Resident Evil. You've become this horror icon on Twitch already. And also got a PG-13 stamp. I don't know how you do it. Complex <laughs> <laughs> human. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I realized, yeah. probably not the wisest of courses uh paths to take i realized and the horror thing just kind of half by happenstance i don't know why i just gravitate that to that more um uh, this one i believe is really reflective of the community uh, that you've created oh my gosh you guys are amazing uh oh okay, okay. is there like oh this is crying face oh no it is I love that. I love that. I love that. Hands adopted into a face itself. <laughs> yeah, I just, I had, yeah, I had, I don't know. Then you can see my eyes and see, like, you can see, oh, I just give it away. The moment they get, like, red and, like, glossy, it's like, oh, you're tearing up, aren't you? It's exactly what's happening. Indeed. And then you can't talk, and my words, oh, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. You, 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 you know, you, you. Yeah. I will. I will say that the the sound of your alerts are embedded in my mind forever. <laughs> that do do do. Oh, it's. It's because you, because you, you know, like when you get rewarded with subs and stuff, they they go crazy and you get hype trains very often because you're very much loved. Um, but Aww. that noise, <laughs> that noise, that because, yeah. no, no, it, it's become a hallmark. It's brilliant. It, it just adds to the chaos that is happening on screen. Um, very much. So. I took a I took a clip of you. Um, I took uh, you, people may have seen it in uh, some of the promo videos that have been airing tonight. Um, I'm using this. I'm so grateful that you did this. Although it did, it hit a, it hit a funny bone. But yeah, we won't, we won't play about it. And I do this way too much. Best decision I've ever, uh, ever made. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> Yeah, hello, <laughs> that style it out. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Um, oh my lordy! So if I had like a really ridiculous purchase, it's not a purchase that I'm gonna make in any in like anywhere in the near future. But mm -hmm. oh man, I found this mascot on Etsy. Oh, like a full full got like a head. Oh, oh, go all out. That's oh, that's no, just... really... so. Yeah, you've got the bear. You've got the bunnies. And I've got every other mask known to man. <laughs> uh, Together we're unfortunate. Yeah, I think I think the the plague mask is the one that's sort of I think I'm synonymous with. What does that say about me, really? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are we're joined by Needy Bell, and it, it is wonderful. But of course, me and and DV are here, and we are aliens to this world. We don't know what is going on. We are trying to learn and navigate it the best we can. I'm a knowing fool. She hasn't got a clue. Um, <laughs> I know you guys. <laughs> and I, I've been entered into this world of Twitch, and I have no idea. The world of the internet as a whole, I have no idea what any of these terms mean. I'm trying to learn. It took me ages to learn even how to use an emote. Um... If, pe if people know, yeah, I never used to use them. And I would create full sentences in paragraphs. Um, because For gentlemen. Yes, exactly. I, I try to still retain that. But um, yeah, I'm learning the language of emotes. Uh, if, if people uh, know my Discord, you may have learned recently that uh, I have started to use the GIFs. 
Uh, I'm not pronouncing it because I don't want to start wars. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I've started le- learning GIFs to the surprise of everyone <laughs> and to the chagrin of many others, I feel. Um, but yes, there are still words that I do not quite understand. Um, and today I was hoping that you guys may educate me in understanding the word weeb? Weeb. Weeb. Can I Google it? <laughs> You're in the same boat. Brilliant. It's all falls on death violets. Oh my god, it's all okay. So sure. we we're cool. Wait, do you know what it is? Yeah. What is a weeb? No. Okay, one second. Is it like, okay, no. Oh, God, yeah, this should be interesting. What do you think oh. it is? What, what, what did you say? What was that, sorry? It's got to be a bad thing, right? It's a not... bad thing? I think right? it's a the like, context it's used in. What, what, so what do you think a weeb okay. is? If, if yeah, you could put it in, Nini. What... Oh, um, I honestly would only put it into, like, noob context. Like, oh, you're such a weeb, or... We, we, yeah, so, yeah, W-E-E-B, weeb. Uh, and it's, I don't know if it is an insult or not. It it, it is depends it... on the context. Oh, right. Okay. I think it used to be an insult, but now it's becoming a lot more of like, yeah, I'm a weeb. Okay, cool. Okay. It's like nerd or like yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's, oh, so it's it's like nerd. So, weeb is much more specific to like, uh, somebody that is specifically really into like anime or manga. Oh, um, that's why I don't have it. Okay. Yeah. Right. So like I I always joke that I'm a weeb. I am by no means one of the like I'm not a huge weeb like a lot of people are. Like you know they have all the figurines and all the books and all like they've seen everything. Okay. I'm like a baby weeb, just itty bitty baby weeb. Oh, um, but up. at least that's my understanding of it. Like just right a person very into anime genre. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's an okay. odd one, isn't it? Because, like, mm-hmm. nerd, when I was younger, was people who, like, read comic books, maybe watched star-based mm-hmm. TV shows, like, yeah. you know, Star Wars it's and stuff. basically in, in parallel with that. But they never had a... Like, nerd was still kind of a universal term that never mm-hmm. really meant that. It kind of changed with the times. Right. Yeah. Generations have, like, gotten really mm-hmm. better with like adjectives like there's yeah. categories of things now that are specific like yeah. you're a nerd but like if you are into this it's like a weak specific awesome. kind yeah. of nerd now yeah yeah, yeah. it's very odd because cool. I, I i grew up reading uh superhero comics um i did um uh, well, graphic novels mainly i, I never the actual yeah. but i hate the films that's fair i hate all the superhero films every single one of them i don't oh, think they yeah, work i don't think they one I don't think any of them work on screen. Okay. I think they're all too reliant on CGI and they repeat the same story over and over again, um, narratively speaking. And th- that's fine. I hope people enjoy them, but I don't. And I, I think they are better in a comic book form. They're more bite size. Um, they uh, get the point across very quickly and efficiently and they tell great tales and are able to... You can appreciate the art that goes with it. With, with, with CGI, although that's art... It's, I want to go to a movie for escapism, and I'm constantly reminded that this has been crafted in some kind of app, and it's not Depends real. on the movie. Like, if it's well done CGI, mm-hmm. then I can get immersed into it. Like, Subtle. oh, wow, like, yeah. this guy did, you know, flew wherever. Yeah. Like, I could get immersed into it, but when it comes to, like, when you can very obviously see where the distinct color shade difference from yeah. this, like that's when it kind of gets. When the weird. whole scene has been acted out as one human standing in front of a giant green screen, then you know that this movie is not for me. <laughs> All right. So that's a lot of movies. Yeah, of movies. that's a lot of movies. Yeah, <laughs> very true. It's I, that's, I, I still like the horror genre because it still stays okay. true to. Uh, the, More so the older horror genre? I like real-time... What, what what, what, not CGI, but uh, what's the other one? Visual effects. The, but, yeah. Yeah, the, like, like live-action stuff. stuff. Yeah, makeup mm-hmm. stuff. Like, where you can actually... They're actually crafting something. Like The Fly, that film, The Fly, the remake of The Fly with uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum, right? The, the, what Cronenberg crafted there with his team and made was real. It was there. They filmed that real thing. It existed. That already is quite frightening on a spooky level, right? 
but it's there and they animated it and it looked like it looked great you know manipulated it using animatronics and stuff like that and that's great now they do that with cgi and you think yeah that looks all right right it won't have to say and, and the proof the proof of that is the thing if you've ever seen the thing uh the, the john carpenter version of the, of the thing from the 80s full of uh practical effects then they remade it and did it all in cgi and it's awful to see oh. because have the C- seen... cgi is just just ruined it but there's a place for it i just prefer right. if it's subtle have you seen the dark crystal I have. I love Dark Crystal. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen the Netflix show for it? I started watching it. How do you feel about it? I didn't get very far. <laughs> okay. So I take it you didn't like it? Not so much. Not so much. I felt like they, because they were originally going to do all CGI, but then they were like, no, we need to stick to like yeah. the puppets and like the original way that the original movie was done. Um, but in the end, they were like, listen, let's propose doing both. Mm-hmm. And they like gave like a to a trailer for it, and that's yeah. what they ended up going with. And I felt like it, they did a pretty good job merging the two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 my recollection of it is, is rather vague. Um, I watched a few episodes and then couldn't really. I watch. I, I liked watching right. the film before watching the series mm-hmm. <laughs> to get myself quite, quite up to date. Yeah. So, yeah, because um, uh, I'll always pair that with Labyrinth. Labyrinth's a fantastic mm-hmm. movie. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Do you think in the future there'll be subcategories of weebs? Probably. I feel like already there's a little bit of that. But, you know, it's <laughs> like there's people who are like really, really, really into it and like um, really like like the more adult rated version of it. Oh. And then there's people who prefer just like regular, just just enjoy the genre in general. Like anime is just good. Uh, can, we, um, can we go back a second? There? Um, I was trying to touch it what, what, gently. What, what, what was what? the what was the adult bit you were mentioning there? This, this? Are you not familiar with adult adult similar anime? I'm not really familiar with anime in general, which is probably why I didn't understand <laughs> the term. But uh, okay. Do I need to teach you another word? Could you, uh, you could send me some in in the in DMs if you, if, you, if you want. I'm not sending you anything, <laughs> but I will tell you the names of things in a message. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take that. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, okay, so, um, Death Violets. <laughs> perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Death Violets. The wacky world of Death Violets. It's uh, an insane trip every single week. What's been happening in your life this week? Uh, yeah, I I got caught up on my my chores in the house for the most part. I, I still need to get some stuff done. Uh, I'm still adjusting to not being like working, working. Mm-hmm. Um, bum. But I think my I am a bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think my most exciting like top of the week uh thing is um i don't i don't know how much i've talked about it milo my hairless cat he's very well trained he does a lot of tricks and stuff oh. um and i've been trying to find ways to get zero to get out of the shell and become more comfortable and confident and things like that um and i got i taught zero to do paw and right <laughs> so now he, he he puts his paw like like you know like a little high five kind of thing um well. <laughs> Okay, adorable. <laughs> no soul, regardless of what you say, it's adorable. It's a, if you can, great. if you can get it to work, I sent you a video. Uh, have you really? I did. <laughs> okay. It, it's in our messages. I didn't know where else to send it. Uh, okay. I forgot to bring it up to you before Soul Fest. But... I see. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if I can let's see if I could get this. On here. It's super short. Like it's Milo yeah, it's and Zero not... both doing paw, but I thought it was very touching and very sweet. Uh, let's. Uh, what, what am I trying to do here? Oh, I'm in the wrong area. Oh, wait a minute. How am I gonna? Hold on. Okay. Say, so I feel like in the future I'll send it to you uh, beforehand so we could plan it better. Not 
Um, I I have some uh, issues with that one. I think. I. Uh, yeah, I have to. That. <laughs> that is not a high five. He is shy. I. It didn't even touch it. Learning. We're slowly gonna get he. No, he's not allowed to have the treat until he touches my like oh, part of my hand. Any part of your hand. So we're slowly gonna work up like to more confident like how Milo does it. I'm but a bit look, the main this reason is like a huge big breakthrough for him. <laughs> like a, a low Chad five. Chad a low five. Chad has spoken. I I have to wonder if um why you used your hands and not your monkey feet to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna regret telling you that, aren't I? Yeah, I think you may. I think you may. <laughs> um let me uh okay. It's back to normal. Um, right, so what is... Why? Why? <laughs> uh, I make him more confident because he's so shy. So I'm trying to get him more comfortable and, like, comfortable around me and, like, you know, confident in himself and, you know, rewarding him for things that he does. Do... Do cats have confidence? Yeah! And... Can they Definitely. be shy? Yeah. Surely you have to have an abstract concept of them in your mind, right? No. no like maybe with, not, no. with Zero, like, he's getting a lot better. Um, mm -hmm. But if he's, like, sitting in the living room, when we first adopted him, uh, like, he got along really great with the cats. He, they hit off really well. They actually demanded to meet each other a lot sooner than I wanted to introduce them. Mm -hmm. Um, so he was confident with them, but if I walk up too fast or anything like that, it scares him. Like he'll run off and stuff. So I have to like watch how I approach oh. him and stuff. Wow. And he's finally starting to get like more comfortable. And now we're trying to start teaching him like how to play more with us. Mm -hmm. Like he'll play with toys, but we like play with Milo and stuff like with our hands. Mm -hmm. um, and we chase Milo around the house. So we're trying to get zero kind of used to like, okay, like. Here's a little play Gre run thing. Gremlin hands. Freak him out. Gremlin hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's slowly getting used to it. Um, and I've seen a lot of changes since we've started doing oh. the tricks with, with the treats and stuff. So that I'm is... hoping it'll continue. That's fantastic. So eventually yeah. he will ride a small motorbike with uh, an Americana uh, light helmet off a giant cliff and land on the other side that. successfully. Oh. I got it. I gotta, I gotta get him in a stroller first. Oh, not the stroller again. The pilot <laughs> comes back to haunt me. Oh, dear. You take your cats for walks in a stroller, or at I least want you want to. to. Yeah. Yeah. It, it may or may not be in the works. Oh, really? It is actually in the works. Oh, my word. It may or may not be in the works. So that's actually going to come back up again on the podcast. I know it will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Potato's yeah. excited about the stroller. She's want she wants one as well. She should. Yeah, she does. She get one. Uh, it is in the works. Let's uh let's open the floor. I don't know if there is any, but I'd like to always open the floor up to anyone in the chat that's had uh any questions for Nini Bell at all. Uh, I understand if there if there isn't, that's okay. Um, but I just wanted to open it up if there is anyone. Uh, who wants to ask Nini, the fabulous Nini, about anything, uh, any aspect of her life, or maybe something in her wonderful background? Um, oh. hmm. Wait, is that a bat? Indeed. Yeah. Is it? Is it like a fake bat or a real bat? It's a fake bat. It's not a taxidermy okay. bat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just curious. It's a wait. Um, what? It's a taxidermy bat. Mm -mm. No. Oh, it isn't. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> That was... I just said the phrase before, like, any excitement ensues, like, yeah. is that a real bat? <laughs> no, no, at ease. <laughs> what yeah, is that? different opinions on that. But... Right, so what is that behind the uh, skeletal lady in, in shot? Oh, the, there's that like a fig. There is a figure with, I don't know if it's oh, two items in front. Yeah, is it a mermaid? Indeed, you smart individual. Uh, so my uh, Tashi's brother. Oh, wow. Beyonce are actually due to have a baby, and I wanted to make her a little Aww. Um, mermaid. So I have made. Boop, boop, boop. You made that. <laughs> awesome. Indeed. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> little flippers. 
I said flippers. <laughs> is, that, is that what they call them? Flippers? It'll just, sorry, singular. Flipper? Flipper, yeah. Flipper. <laughs> Um, oh dear. Yeah, I'm not done with her yet. Uh, but I'm like, hey, her name's Lucy, so I was gonna say Lucy the Little Mermaid, and like, oh. oh. Nini, Nini uh, the chat would like to know uh, a little bit more about your taste in uh, perhaps movies or TV shows that you enjoy. Man, um, so honestly, the first thing that came to mind was How I Met Your Mother, and that's like more sitcom. But okay, okay so, so having a, a specific show? TV show is hard because. Um, uh, but I have a favorite genre. I oh. am a sucker for skit comedy. Oh, uh, we comedy. call it sketch comedy, I believe. Um, sketch comedy. Sketch, sketch comedy. comedy. But you could get skits, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay, yeah. That is that is my absolute favorite. Like, from, like, what is Could You Know to, like, Portlandia and, like, even SNL. That is, like, mm. my jam. Okay. I love it so very much. Um, but um, as far as, like, sitcoms go... Um, Probably more of the How I Met Your Mother Scrubs variety. Mm-hmm. Seen those on repeat. Those are very good. Uh, are very good. Nini, in case you didn't see the chat earlier, everyone was talking about how much we love your energy. You bring so much joy to everyone, and we love you. That was uh, is in the chat there. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Boot Dip, uh, I know I've asked Nini about music she's been listening to, but I'm curious if she has a specific song that stands out for her currently. Mm. Man. Yeah, I've been listening to, um, I don't know why, maybe just like this, like, uh, just because it's summer. Um, I've been listening to Soko Amaretto, so, I'm going to butcher this. I always do Soko Amaretto Lime by Brand New, because it has right now, just that whole right before summer and just angsty vibe. And that's just what I've been listening to, what I listened to recently today. So that's the first thing that popped into my head. What is that? that? Okay. Okay. How can you describe Um, music? (laughs) That's a good question. Mm. Um, it's very early two thousands, like grungy scene kids. Oh, Uh, okay. So I would probably I probably peg it as that, not straight scene, but scene adjacent, like the oh man, like the the grungy hipster version of scene. Hard. Very hard. Some of adjectives for this. Following. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> mm. Um. Oh, yeah. We're wondering about. Oh, we're beyond worrying about. <laughs> yeah. What's the deal with that? No, no, no. I, I think. Uh, I. No, I have. I, I, I put my hand up that and say I think I might be okay. <laughs> I've not played any direct music. I've, the only backing I have made, uh, have played, has been created custom by, uh, customly. So if it gets flagged, it gets flagged. But. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. Hopefully, it'll just get muted and we won't have too much issue. Well, that you know it. I bet you Boot knows that song, though. It's a live performance <laughs> as well, so there is a little bit of a, a technicality with, with live performances when it comes to that kind of thing. There is uh, a weird Yeah. Uh, oh, I've still got some more songs to come. I've got two more to finish out the night. Um, but, yes, of course, I've sung a lot tonight, haven't I? Bloody hell. Oh. I hope no one talks to me on my next 12 hour stream tomorrow because I, my voice is going to be shot. <laughs> No, no, that's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up, I think. Um, so, thank you very much, Nini, for for joining us. Where can we find you, wonderful individual? First of all, I you're amazing, and I okay. I'm I'm gonna go into a spiel about how proudy this this is so incredible. Just side note, and and I I am getting trying to get better as far as social media and like Instagram and TikTok and basically everything but Facebook because I'm not really seeing a whole need for that hmm. but um that oh hi oh you want to say bye to you but what i did want to say is just use a second guys i am so so proud of you the whole fruition of like the whole because i know what it takes to kind of have like an idea in mind and the whole sun-dried bunnies and soul fest <laughs> sorry it is it is a it is a project and an adorable it is like it's your baby and literally as somebody on outside looking in I am so proud. I am like, it's, it's freaking awesome. And to have you guys like have this come into fruition mm-hmm. and it like, look, it is, I am impressed. And I am very keep doing this just because literally it has been you, what you put your mind to soul, mm-hmm. everything that you have, you've done in such a wonderful, like calculated manner that it is, I it is 
is something I would like to be able to take out of your page of your playbook and adapt it in my own specific life. But for now, I will just envy and try to copy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I appreciate you very much. Um, and yeah, no, you're not the outside looking in. I take you're, you're very much on the inside um, of 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 this community. Um, we all are. We all are. Um, yeah, I I'm just incredibly honoured and privileged for all of you uh, throughout this night to to, to join me, um, especially especially the the core group of individuals I first came here and spent hours upon hours in your streams, which you know being streamers yourselves you cannot be everywhere at once and as much as i may have been able to spend three hours watching nini bell or midnight i can't do that anymore and uh, it, as much as it pains me uh, i have to come in and i have to say hello and then i have to look and um but it doesn't take away from the fact that we've still got those connections and that we can come together into and do Things like this and keep those uh, relationships, those friendships alive uh, forevermore. So this is um, this is a kind of culmination of the last six months. A lot of things have come to a uh, head here tonight. Uh, for those who, who may have missed it, may have heard Spidey Gwen for the first time. Um, yeah, and you'll never hear it again. <laughs> what? No. This Meatloaf. Is Bible, right? Meatloaf grabbed the guitar and played Wonderwall. I shared the... He, he Meatloaf sang. Meatloaf sang. Well, Meatloaf played the guitar. I sang. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've had... I shared the screen with Numa, uh, my best mate, Eddie, uh, Midnight, Death Violets. Uh, I, I got to play games with some of uh, the greatest European folk. I said folk. Uh, I've, I've met in bass, up alone, FPG, uh, and I've had an incredible chat full of wonderful, loving individuals throughout this entire night. I got to sung. I get. I got to sung. I get to sing the Phantom of the Opera with Harley. Um, it's 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 been incredible because this is not about soul. It's about us uh, and the connectiveness of us and what is capable on Twitch. So this is not. This is coming for six months, but it's the beginning. It's the beginning of something. Uh, much more beautiful and it kickstarts with this podcast because every week from now on every Sunday uh, we will allow we allow <laughs> we will yeah we will, we'll allow you in maybe you're uh, okay to come in yeah you're okay to come in yeah That's you have to scary. pass pass the test and you might get it <laughs> give it a password but we're going to give a platform for many streamers including next week when we have the wonderful my dude boot dip uh, in here as our uh, special guest uh, I'm grateful to say, um, but Nini, uh, we've we've given you the shout out. Your name is 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 up there and highlighted. And uh, wait a minute, Meatloaf wants me to press his button live on the podcast. You madman! Oh dear, with Nini present as well, I don't know if I'm capable. Of... <laughs> oh, um... oh damn! What can oh, I say? So you, Meatloaf, you are like this chair that I am. You're like this chair I've got right here. Um, I want to sit on you. <laughs> execution. I don't know. It was like, like, you were leading up to something, and it was just with you. Gonna yep. sit on you. And and going. If the lever's there, I will oh. elevate myself up and down. Okay. So, um, that's the, uh, end of the Sun Fried, uh, Sun Fried! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I will get better, I swear. Again. Yep. Okay. Welcome, everyone, to the Sun Dried Bro. <laughs> oh, that's all Death Violets, the wonderful Death Violets. I, mean, I, I was just going to say, yeah. you fantastic. Thank you. Sun Dried Bunnies. Sun, sun Dried yeah. Bunnies. It's written sun there. Bunnies. It's in my peripherals. <laughs> ah. the, sweat, the warping of the Soul Fest? Mm -hmm. I tip my hat to you. Yes, yeah, she's thank amazing you. talent. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Death Violets, for being here. We'll of be course. back again next week with Boot Dip. Neely Bell, thank you so much for coming in for Soulfest as well as coming in for the podcast to be our first official guest. Uh, we're very grateful for you, and we may even see you in the future. Um, Hopefully. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, so for the time being, I will say farewell, and I bid you all adieu. 